Hi guys! Have you ever wondered what games user research means? My name is Lainey Dixon. I'm co-founder and director of user research at Octothorpe Game Studios in Salt Lake City, Utah. I am Julien Huguenin from uh, Ubisoft Paris, and I am a user research manager. How can you help me on the game I work on? For me, user research is about helping you to achieve the, the vision you have for your game, making sure the players live the experience that you design and that we wish them for them to have. So, as a game user researcher, we can really help you looking at that relationship that the player is having with the game. What we're really focused on is helping you remove any of the barriers that are inhibiting the player from being able to experience the game as you had originally intended them to experience it. Is it like telling me how to do my job? No. So what we try to do is we're trying to provide support to you. Just like many other disciplines you would expect would be able to help you, such as a QA team or something like that, what we really want to do is help support by, by, by providing tools to you that can help support your design division. No, it's not about telling you how to do your job, it's giving you information to make better decisions about your game. You, you can act on them or not, it's your choice, or you can act on them the way you want, but it's, it's up to you to decide what you do with the information that we provide. If your tests have bad results, does that mean I don't do my job well? No. There's many ways that we could have miscommunications with our testing. Perhaps it was a miscommunication between you and your user researcher, or maybe we just didn't have the right demographic. What we need to do is just continue testing and making sure that we're making the right decisions. It doesn't necessarily that you're not doing your, your job correctly, that you're doing your job well, what we really want to focus on is really understanding that experience and if that's mapping on to what you expected that it should be. I don't know of any game that had perfect results for the whole production. Like it's, no, it's, it's part of the iterative process of developing a game. Uh, it's to improve it over time, so it's fine. What's the difference between your job and the marketing or the QA, QC teams? Um, we are not there to keep track of technical issues that your game might have. We are there to give you feedback on how the player experience the game. And for the marketing aspect, we are not there to give you insight of how will your game sell or not. We are here to evaluate what the player are doing in the test room with the game in front of them. So a lot of people get confused about the difference between what market research is and what games user research is. So the best way to think of it is market, market research is really concerned about consumer behaviors, sales information. What games user research is really focused on is that in-hand game experience. So what is the experience that the player is getting once the game is in their hands? How do you do to find the players for your test? Are they team members? So we recruit external players that are, well, you know, generally interested in playing games, but they are not from the industry how we those are the closest you have from having consumers in front of the game. So what we do with my team is we have a database set up where we're recruiting players so that when we have a game that we can really focus in on what the demographic is for that target audience. It's really important to make sure that your players not only are just testing the game but they're within the audience that they're making the game for. When should we start to do games user research on our games? So there is a saying that you should test your game as easy as early as possible, but um, more precisely that means that you should test uh, aspects of your game as soon as they are functional and uh, as you iterate on the, on the game itself. Starting even before having a pro functional prototype, you can test out ideas. And when you have a functional prototype, you can test it, see if the your idea of a game works. And as, as your game ramp up and go toward being a finished product, you will have feedbacks on more and more aspects and feedbacks that are more, much more helpful as the development goes. So it's really best, you'll hear a lot of people say that you're supposed to test early, test often. What does this mean? It becomes really difficult, but the best thing is to really test as soon as you have something that you can put in front of people to really make sure that they're understanding the game how that you would want them to be understanding. Is that there? Is the experience that they're getting what you would want? The further along you go down through development, the harder it is and the more impact that is on your budget and your time. <music>